Hello peeps. Spurred on by a recent discussion about gaucho knots and gaucho fan knots, I explored the already very much explored uh, subject a bit further and I started in already having a 5 lead 4 byte Turk set ready and for the sake of showing that um, you cannot make a gaucho interweave with a second color in these kind of knots or in any of these Turk sets without the second color coming kind of short I'm gonna show you this right now I'm not um, going to be going very slow here it's not an education for the gaucho knot it's more like a demonstration so just to be clear now I'm not tying a gaucho fan knot I'm tying the gaucho knot I start above or left of the standing end and do what the standing end does except I have to go over to to leave the knot and then go in under one so the knot builds itself backwards it's always over to in the end and uh, and as we come along the pairs when we build it we have of course right now it starts we have to split the pairs and it, uh, the, c the pairs come closer to the entering to the bite where we're entering the I call it the above or right bite um, and we will see so we already split one pair here we go out over two come in again under one Do the same as the part we're following. We'd already have to go under two again, not under this only one here, to split the pair. So over two, under one. Over two it's the second pair to split and under two to split the second pair. And we come out uh, over two again. Go in under one. Go over two to split the second pair. And uh, have to go under two, of course, on the second pair. Come out over two, go in under two. This is the last. This will finish the knot. You have to um, split the pair here, the third pair in this case. Under two, over two, under two. And out, over two. So. Now we have just one more to do, do we? No, it just looks like it. It looks like it now because we have the second color. Um, we finished the knot because we meet up, come out over two here and we meet up with our standing part of the black. So what I'm going to show you now here is our basic beginning knot was, our base knot was the 5 lead 4 byte in neon green and what we see here, this should be what it should look like, the normal interweave this uh, W pattern, but we have a second green byte here at, at the beginning. Then the doubling goes on one step further down. 
and then you have it in the next one you have it further down there and then it goes up again don't ask me why it moves like this you could also see that there's probably yeah there are two bites here but um, the point being you cannot make a second color interweave in any of these turk sets it doesn't work i've tried so many and in the end it's very simple because if you count your bites um, one would think if i do an equal interweave in a four lead five four byte then we would have 10 lead and eight byte but what we have with what we end up with when we count the leads and the bytes we end up with nine lead seven bytes one two three four five six seven the nine lead can be counted very easily you just take let's let's see let's see let's see we take this one and um, the green one and count what comes in between um, the one at the end and at the beginning it's one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine lead seven bytes and if you have seven bytes but have two colors you cannot divide seven by two so you ha end up with four and with three and of course this, the additional one has to go somewhere or the missing one is missing in the end so but why is that so well i'm not advanced enough to speak about column coded and row coded i have absolutely no idea what someone is talking about but what came to me is why not explore this further so i will undo now the original knot and we will see what happens then what we will what we have sort of what kind of knot do we have interwoven in this whole scenario I must make a little fast don't know how much uh, space I have on my camera so So now, what do we have here? Okay, we must take this up. If we look, this looks like something going under two, going over two at some place. Yeah, they're over two. So, if you have a close look at it, you see there are three bytes, but it's not a proper... At first I thought it was a four lead three byte, would make sense. Five and four makes seven, nine and three and four makes seven but of course it is not it's not a proper casa coded um, turk set but what it looks like is that this is the state of laying the tracks of the five lead four bytes so we s this whole thing is not a completely um, finished um, five lead four byte knot and if i'm just trying to do this i hope my cord is long enough playing with all my funny funny chords here uh, I did it I did it I know I did it but this whole thing now ah yeah okay I have to arrange your chords there's my bite my track bite and here there's some goose making some noise I guess it's a goose. So, what we end up with is a proper five lead four byte knot. So, what we did in the end was we had a base knot five lead four byte, and we did the gaucho interweave, which is always uh, the two pass gaucho interweave, which is always over two under two over two under two. And what we actually inter interwove there was a not completed five lead four byte knot so now the mystery is solved and if we want um, to have the second color properly aligned 
then we must uh, take make some kind of trick and combine the gaucho knot pattern with a fen knot pattern on the right side or on the upper side or let's be precise on the opposite side of the starting uh, standing end so that means it's always going over two over one uh, over two under two over two under two but we end this knot on top with over one and under one all the time and this will always work because this is nothing else but stacking a, a, an identical turk set onto the base turk set nothing else and it only works like this i've tried them in all sizes it doesn't work any other way so maybe other people have found this but um, yeah it was a revelation to me i never realized that deconstructing a knot can yeah can give you such in insight um unless i still don't know what it means if something is column or raw coded but we will yeah i hope i will be getting there at some time Thank you for watching.